What's the hybridization of CH4? Well, the short answer is that the carbon is sp3 hybridized. But if you want to know why, I'm about to tell you in two minutes. Carbon unhybridized has six electrons total. Well, that's not how you spell hybridized, but whatever. The point is it's unhybridized. Six electrons total, four electrons in its valence shell. If you were going to draw the electron configuration diagram for that, you'd draw 1s2, 2s2, 2p2, which means you have an electron there and there. In methane, CH4, you have a carbon single bonded to four different hydrogens. Now, hydrogens don't hybridize, so we're not even going to bother with that. But what you need is four equivalent sigma bonds. Every single bond between two atoms is a sigma bond. Because we need four sigma bonds coming from this carbon, we need four hybridized orbitals. It's not always the exact same number. Lone pairs that were on this central atom would have also been in a hybridized orbital, but there's no lone pairs on carbon. So four sigma bonds, four hybridized orbitals. How can you even get four hybrid orbitals out of this? The answer is combine the S with one, two, three of the P's. One, two, three, four atomic orbitals will hybridize to make one, two, three, four degenerate, aka equivalent energy, hybridized orbitals. How did we get four here? It's because we combined four of the atomic orbitals, and because it was an S and three of the P's, we call them sp3 hybridized orbitals. The 1s shell does not bond here, so it stays exactly the same. You probably don't even have to show that, but I don't know your teacher. And lastly, 1, 2, 3, 4 valence electrons in carbon. 1, 2, 3, 4 hybridized orbital electrons here as well. It's probably obvious that one of the hydrogens with its 1s orbital will combine to make a sigma bond with that one, another hydrogen with that one, another hydrogen with that one, another hydrogen with that one. But the point is that because you had four hydrogens that you needed to explain sigma bonds for, you needed four equivalent energy to each other hybridized orbitals. And the only way to get four equivalent energy hybridized orbitals is to combine the S, of which there's one, with all three of the P's, of which there are three. One and three is four. There you go. You're welcome, and best of luck.